Hi everyone, on today's video I'm going to show you how you can identify an output transformer easily with uh, just a few things you probably have laying around. Once again, do not forget that working with electricity can be dangerous and uh, if you don't know what you're doing, well, enjoy the video but leave it to the people who are experienced or do it when you have some experience. Stay safe is the best solution. But anyways. You see, in a tube amplifier, then the output transformer transforms the high voltage low current coming out of the tubes into a lower voltage but higher current to drive up the speaker. This one is a, a replacement for a Fender Deluxe 5V3 type amp. It's for a push pull of 6V6 tubes connected to an 8 ohm speaker. I know what it is. I can easily find the documentations I need if I want to use it in a project. This one over here is a smaller one. It's a Hiko. It's a new old stock, never been used. I know this one is a 5K on the primary winding and 4 ohms on the secondary winding. I know it. It's documented. But what about this guy? This guy was uh, given to me, I have no idea the, of its performance or what it is useful for. I'm not going to use this transformer on a customer's hand unless it's specifically requested that I use um, salvage parts, but for prototyping, for building your own amplifier, it might be pretty interesting to get some salvage parts and we're going to see how we can identify which one is the primary or the secondary but let me zoom in for a moment so i pumped up the exposure to the maximum as you can see here you see these thicker wires coming out from the winding it's generally the secondary of an output transformer on the other side here you have a way thinner wires and that's usually the primary on the output transformer but let's not make this a rule I'm going to show you how you can measure it and be sure of what you're doing. The tools you'll need are pretty basic, just a multimeter. Even a basic one will do a fine job about this. And what we're going to do is we are going to measure the DC resistance of both windings. Um, the secondary winding is usually close to zero, close to continuity. So I'm going to put it here and here and we're gonna have a look at this yeah you can see here we have 0 0.93 well let's say one home it means that it is thicker wire so it's the secondary it's the speaker side on the other hand here we have around 210 homes this is the primary in a wire and this is the primary of the transformer one tool I like to use so I'm gonna open up my toolbox is these markers Posca markers they write on anything so I'm gonna write up here P for primary and S for secondary that way I know when I use this later on and I don't have to measure it again now that I have identified the primary and the secondary winding, we have to know the impedance ratio. You see, this transformer will reflect the impedance of the speaker that is connected to it. Now, let's say um, this transformer here is a 5K impedance on the primary when a 4 ohm speaker is connected to the secondary. We're going to check this out on this bad boy here and see what we got to achieve this I need a source of AC it's coming out from a transformer and it's giving me around 65 volts of AC okay that's fine now I'm setting my multimeter to volts AC and I'm gonna take a measurement on these alligator clips see the voltmeter is beeping and I get 63.2 volts. 
Now I know these figures onto a piece of paper. Now I need to calculate ES, the voltage on the second tree. Something that's cool to do this is these alligator clamps. You simply insert them onto the probes of your multimeter. And now I can easily reach the terminals on the transformer. I would like to put it like that. Okay. And I'm going to put the other one right here. That's fine. And I get 1.85. Okay. And now it's done. We don't need to calculate or to measure anything. I can turn off the transformer. Okay, now we are finished with measuring voltages. We're going to use some arithmetics. Now I have VP and VS and it's going to give me the winding ratio, which I'm going to write here. Winding ratio is obviously 63 point 28 divided by 1.85 and it gives me around 34.2 which is the winding ratio so okay 34 yeah we're gonna round it up anyway and once again you have decimals we're not gonna get a very precise result okay okay we're gonna Square this now, I mean the winding ratio that is squared is gonna be yeah, 1170. Okay, right now, if we multiply this figure, I mean the winding ratio being squared by the impedance of the speaker I'm gonna connect to the secondary of this transformer, it's gonna give me the primary impedance that the tube is going to be connected to so let's do this times four because i want to use a four ohm speaker and i'm going to get an impedance on the primary of and i'm going to say well that's kind of a weird number well you know what it basically means it's a 5k transformer if connected to a 4 ohm speaker. Now I'm gonna grab a small label like here, it's a 5k 4 ohms. And I'm gonna stick this label onto this transformer so I will know what it is next time I will want to build a project or a prototype using a transformer like this. Yeah, a 5K, like a small transformer like this, is going to be perfect for a circuit using um, a 6BQ5 or a 6B6 power tube uh, on the single-ended. And the primary and the secondary are also noted on it. So it's basically uh, ready to be used and ready to have fun with. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. As always, thank you for watching and uh, catch you next time. Goodbye.